All right, question one of stoichiometry. Now, this is a, a very general question, a pretty basic one that might be asked in stoichiometry, and it's simply asking you to find an amount of um, hydrogen gas that's going to be produced or formed from a certain reaction. And this reaction in particular is between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. So what we're doing is hydrogen gas is going to be formed, we know that, and magnesium and hydrochloric acid are the two things that are going to react together. So step one, in whenever you have this, is write an equation, a balanced equation for this reaction. So you've got magnesium, which is just Mg, reacting with hydrochloric acid, and that's going to form hydrogen gas, which is H2, plus magnesium chloride, MgCl2. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Always remember to get your things right here. Now we need to balance this reaction, and obviously we need a 2 in front of our HCl there. Okay? And now this is going to be a balanced reaction. Now, we're given a certain amount of magnesium ribbon. So we're given 10 grams. What I like to do is I like to write down what information I get underneath each reactant here, or each um, spe um, species in our equation. So 10 grams of magnesium. 10 grams of magnesium ribbon. And I put a question mark next to the stuff that I want to know. I want to know the amount of hydrogen gas. So I'm going to put a question mark here underneath hydrogen gas of what I want to know. And that's in grams as well, so unknown grams. So now we have this. Our first um, step is done. We've got an equation. I've written down the stuff that I know, or um, I want to find out, underneath my constituents here. And now I'm on to my second step. My second step is to find number of moles. What can I find number of moles of? I've got grams here, so straight away I can go from grams into number of moles using this. So I'll go number of moles of magnesium equals mass over molar mass. My mass is 10 grams. My molar mass of magnesium, I look at my um, periodic table and work out that it's about 24. So then I get my calculator out. Where's my calculator? 10 divided by 24 equals about 0 0.417, 0 0.417 mole. So that's my second thing there, finding out my number of moles of this. The third one, third step, is a ratio. So I'm going to put 3 here, I'm going to put ratio. What it is, is looking at the ratio of what I have to what I want. Now I'm going to have, I have magnesium, and I'm going to go to um, hydrogen gas. Now, to do a ratio, we do the number of moles of each thing divided by the coefficient in of these things here. So the coefficient for magnesium, the thing out at the front here, is an invisible 1. So it's over 1. By hydrogen, it's also a 1 there. Okay, because my coefficient at the front here is a 1. Now, pretty simple. That means the number of moles of magnesium is equal to the number of moles of hydrogen gas, which is equal to 0 0.417. Okay, I don't need to do any rearranging here. So this thing is a 1 to 1 ratio. One of these gives me one of these. That's what my ratio tells me. So that equals number of moles of H2 gas. I'm trying to find out grams of hydrogen gas, so that means I'll need to use this and convert my mole into grams. So number of moles equals m over mr, so that means mass of hydrogen will be equal to my number of moles times my molar mass. Okay, so I'll just make that easy to see, so it is actually m. So my Number of moles is okay, 0 0.417. My molar mass of hydrogen will be 2 because I've got two hydrogens, so therefore my molar mass of hydrogen gas is going to be 2. This will be equal to, um, I get my calculator out, 
And see how I've got the answer there already? I've got all the decimal points in there. I'm going to use the answer for that. So I was going to use all those decimal points. I'm not going to round it off when I'm doing my calculations. Times 2. And that gives me 0 0.833 grams. Okay, and I've still got all my decimal points here. I just round it to however many I need to. And I'm going to talk about how many we use a bit later on down the track. But the idea is I didn't use this number. I used the number that was in my calculator already. So therefore, um, 0 0.833 grams of H2 will be produced from that equation. And that's it. That's my first um, run through of stoichiometry. So I've got my first step, writing the equation. My second step, finding out the number of moles of what I can do. So one of my things. My third step was my ratio, where I did what I have equals what I'm looking for, divided by their coefficients. And then, where are we? Fourth step in here. Okay, was doing what the question asked me to. All right, going into the um, thing, using my number of moles here and working out what my mass was. So one, two, three, four steps. Done. Easy. Finished.